This video is brought to you by Skillshare. Today we're gonna talk about the differences and similarities between two popular software, Blender and SketchUp. As you might know, Blender is an all-around software that was designed to satisfy artists' needs in almost all fields, from creating video games, creating VFX shots for TV and television, interior design, architecture, VR, 2D animation, and more. On the other hand, SketchUp is mainly for interior design and architecture, but they surely have similarities that are worth talking about. A brief background. SketchUp was released in 2000 by Google. At first, it was completely free because big companies such as Google have funds to develop free software. And of course, architecture students found it to be useful. After its huge success, Trimble, a software leading company, bought it in 2012. On the other hand, the story of Blender started with Tan Rosendahl, who was working at a company called Neo Geo in Netherlands. In 1995, he started his own project for developing in-house software. In 1998, however, Tan Rosendahl developed a company called Not a Number, which aimed to develop Blender to sell it for profit. He received investments, but could not make the necessary sales, so Not a Number went bankrupt. By then, Blender had developed a loyal following of users who didn't want to see Blender die. So Tom created Blender non-profit company after its fans collected $100,000 to buy it from investors. And that was just the beginning as Blender continued to grow with the support of donations from people who loved it. Furthermore, independent developers are always working and building new features and add-ons to make it better for the community. So why use Blender or SketchUp? Blender does everything designers and 3D artists ask for, from modeling, sculpting, particle physics and dynamics, character animation, video editing, creating games, and more. And the very big news here is that it is entirely free. Yes, you can do everything for free. Blender is a free and open source kind of 3D software. And this is one of the biggest selling points for Blender, but it is surely not the only one. The bad thing is, when people hear that it is for free, they immediately assume that it is low quality kind of software, and this is maybe the only problem with being free. People used to not give it a chance or consider it a professional software, but in the last couple of years things changed a lot for the better in the favor of Blender compared to the other 3D software due to the changes that happened to it. Now it is becoming more and more famous because even though it is free, people started discovering how amazing it is. Since it has amazing sets of tools that can allow you to do anything and there is nothing you can't create using it. The secret behind Blender's amazing growth is its development fund that artists, studios and big companies are contributing to every month. Also, if you are good enough as a Blender developer, you can create add-ons and add them to the Blender community to help the software become even better. On the other hand, one of the main things we should mention whenever talking about SketchUp is its simplicity. It has one of the most user-friendly interfaces that you can imagine. Plus, it also offers a free online plan next to other offline paid plans, but the free one is very limited. Generally speaking, SketchUp is a 3D modeling program mainly oriented for architectural work. It will give you the ability to make 2D drawings and 3D models easily using all its creative tools. Undoubtedly, if you are an architect, an interior designer, or you work in real estate, it will be great for you to choose SketchUp to make and visualize your projects. 3D modeling plays a very important part in architecture, however architects are less concerned with physics and simulations and they are much more concerned with shapes and designs. This is the reason why SketchUp is highly recommended in this particular field. Its core program was created for this type of work. In addition to that, all third-party plugins and extensions enable SketchUp to produce some professional renderings and highly and very amazing designs in a short period of time with ease. If you want to learn more about Blender or SketchUp, I recommend you try Skillshare. It is a fantastic platform that has thousands of classes on a variety of different topics, but for our particular case, you will find many courses about 3D software, whether it be Blender, SketchUp, Maya, Max, and more, including different kinds of digital art. For example, if you want to learn about how to create and design a modern interior, I recommend this class that goes through all the necessary processes from modeling to rendering using Blender. Also, there are some popular Blender short courses 
that were created by Southern Shari 3D that show you how to start using Blender, like how to start your first character and your first animation, which is great for beginners if you are interested. Also, there is another training that will teach you about bedroom design with SketchUp and V-Ray. And the good thing is, it is very affordable because you just need to pay a few dollars per month to get access to all these fantastic classes. The first 1,000 people to click the link in the description will get a free trial of Skillshare Premium Membership. Now we're gonna jump to some actual head-to-head -head comparison between Blender and SketchUp. Modeling Differences SketchUp is oriented for architectural and design modeling because it is equipped with a very suitable set of tools. This includes the ability to model simple to complex interior design assets such as furniture in addition to all types of buildings. Blender on the other hand is much better for modeling objects, characters and environments because it is used as we said for video games, animation, VFX and more. Modeling with SketchUp is limited to hard surface modeling like furniture, houses, objects and more. But it will not give you the ability to make faces, complex creatures like plants and monsters. The reason is simple, SketchUp is oriented toward, as we said, architecture, urban planning, and interior design. On the other hand, modeling with Blender is a different experience, because it is an open source software that has taken the modeling process to a new level or the next level, and it enables hard surface modeling and organic modeling. Creating animations SketchUp is widely known for its inability to animate. Other than making small videos with very basic and simple minimalist animations, which is practical for designers and architects to show their models and designs, especially exterior and interior rendering scenes. And of course, when we talk about Blender, we're talking about 3D movies with effects and very complex characters and environmental animations, just like those you see in great studios such as Pixar and Marvel. This is the case because Blender over the years has been developed to have a very strong animation and modeling toolset that allow animators to create whatever they want. The rendering differences. When it comes to rendering with Blender and SketchUp, it is better to use third-party render engines, especially for architectural visualization work. This is the case for speed and efficiency. Even though Blender has two amazing render engines, it is still better to use third-party engines. You can use render engines such as V-Ray, Octane, and more. There is also a huge number of cloud-based rendering services for both SketchUp and Blender which will reduce the amount of time it takes to work on complicated projects, especially if you have an average or a weak machine. This also frees up the computer for other things to do while saving time. Moreover, chances with Blender are endless, since it has two render engines, cycles in addition to Eevee, which is a real-time render engine. Also, Blender is compatible with more render engines, especially the strong ones. The Learning Curve this is the greatest advantage of SketchUp. It is very simple with the most friendly user interface. It is actually extremely easy to use and fast to learn compared to Blender. The results can be noticed very fast in just few days. On the other hand, learning Blender is quite easy as well, thanks to the online tutorials, but it is not very intuitive compared to SketchUp. I don't personally consider this to be a bad thing because if a software is a bit harder or complicated, it means that it has more potential and it can do more things, especially when working on complicated projects. The operating systems. One more thing you should pay attention to before purchasing any software is its compatibility with other operating systems you are using, because it can be a serious problem later. For SketchUp, it is available for Windows and Mac, while Blender is available for Windows, Mac, and Linux operating systems. Pricing and licensing. SketchUp has different sets of plans, ranging from plans for students, professionals, and companies, so I suggest you take a look at it yourself. And of course, they range from free options to paid ones. Blender, on the other hand, is open source in addition to being completely free. But if you want to get your hands on add-ons, you can find some of them for free, and the best ones are usually paid. Some final thoughts. Finally, I would say that both Blender and SketchUp are great programs. They can produce high quality models with detailed shapes. SketchUp tends to use bare minimum tools and commands, while Blender has almost limitless number of tools. This is the case because they are intended for different clients. 
SketchUp is more adapted to large and medium corporations working on architectural and design projects, while Blender is good for small teams and studios working on game development projects, creating films, animations, and architectural design as well. So each one of them has advantages and shortcomings. So your option will depend on which one of them will be able to allow you to do your job properly in a short period of time and what you are looking for on the personal level. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment down below to let us know what you think. Also, you can check some of our previous videos. Thank you very much and I'll see you in the next one.